Hello? Whoa, uh, is this Rhino's room? No, this is Patrick. All right, well, I was looking for Rhino. All right, this is Patrick, so. Okay, all right. All right, guys, well, make sure you subscribe to the channel. That was a short video. Thought it'd be longer. I guess we're not gonna get a sneaker collection video from Rhino. Well, hope you enjoyed it. Was it a sneaker collection video? Whoa. You didn't tell me that's what it was about. Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't. No, yeah, I wanted to see what you got in your closet. Remember that was the deal? Oh, yeah. I did one, you do one. You so, guys want to see your collection video? Let's go. Let's go. All right, well, yeah. So, yeah, guys, welcome to the room, first off. Mini room tour. I mean, it's not a big room, so. We got the JB poster. We got two in my room, actually, as you will probably see. All praise to the most high. Um, we got the vision board. Pause. I'm into females, but there's some aesthetic goals. Y'all really seeing some real personal stuff. BMW i8, that's the car that I want. I have to read more books. Boat, million dollars. Water. I need to drink more water. And this is a painting that I recently bought in Philly. You guys think it's cool? It's like neon pools, but the house is all made in pastel, like in them little crayons. So I thought that was cool. We got sank. We got the plaques here. Thank you guys. Million, 100K. Love to serve, man. It's my life. You guys are my life. So now you guys probably don't care about my room, but let's get into the shoes. Let's get straight to it. As to the five viewers watching right now, what's up? You guys are watching Love to serve. This is a different video. We normally do skits and stuff on this channel, but a lot of you guys like to see our personal lives and stuff and no did his sneaker collection he did two of them so we were like hey why not i'll show my two kicks that i have you know maybe a few people will enjoy that so feel free to leave a like on this video so that way we know if you guys are digging these type of videos and we were seriously thinking about doing a closet tour like wardrobe tour nobo and i so we're like let us know if you want to see that in the comments if you guys want to see it we're definitely going to do it i'm going to stop the jibber jabber and let's get right into it with my shoes all right jb how you doing He never says much. And also, I did not clean my shoes before doing this. I could have went and got some like shoe cleaner, scrubbed them all, made you guys think that I wear only the freshest shoes, but I'm trying to be as authentic as possible for you guys. So let's start with the first shoe. I'll just go with the ones I'm wearing on my feet right now. Boom! Please don't roast me on the pronunciation, but these are the Comme des Garçons. Comme des Garçons. Hey man, the CDG's Converse. Relatively new. I got like one pair of these that I wore and they got dirty, so I just got these other ones recently. Yeah, so after laces are giving you guys anxiety, but yeah, I just think it's a super fresh, clean sneaker with the kind of eggshell, white, off-white type of color. And then they also fit really nice. I guess I'm a hype beast for getting these. Everybody's getting these now, but they just dropped the another version with like a bunch of different hearts. We can pop that up on the screen. It's got like a little little hearts on the side, so I'm gonna get those like right after this video. Can't forget the black original Coma de Garcon Converse All-Star Chuck Taylor, Taylor Gain, Wes Khalifa kicks. Again, I just think it's a cool look, goes with a lot of things. I'm into more simple shoes as you guys can probably tell. I'm not really big into the flashy colors just because I don't really have a lot of clothes that can match them, but I do like when the shoes can kind of stand alone by themselves. Next one, these are kind of similar to the ones I just showed you. CDGs, these are just a low top. Super cool kind of look. I like it that it doesn't constrict your ankle as much as the high top. Next up, we have the Uggs. I got these, I was like, the winter's coming up. I wasn't feeling the black ones as much, but I thought these would be like a cool little winter vibe that I could rock. Ladies, what do you guys think of the uh, Uggs? Men rocking Uggs, is that cool? Guys, what do you think? I think it's cool because it's like, most guys who are really masculine and whatnot and try to be all tough probably wouldn't rock Uggs, but I feel like chicks would dig Uggs, so. And now we're getting to my favorite. These aren't necessarily my favorite Ultra Boosts that I have, but I love Ultra Boosts. I have taken these shoes out on many dates, different colorways. I've taken them out on different dates sometimes. We get back to the room, you know, dot, dot, dot. Things get a little freaky with my shoes. But I'm just the biggest Ultra Boost fan. I think they're the most comfortable shoe that I've personally worn ever. This is like the Olive Copper something. I'm not an expert on the model names and the colorway terms. I just like the colors. So with the Ultra Boost family, we have these ones. These are the Triple White Ultra Boosts. I believe the 3.0. I'm not really a big fan of white shoes, but these are just super icy and they go with just about any outfit you're trying to rock with them. I'm nervous to wear them too often because obviously they're gonna get ruined if I step outside and a speckle of dust gets on them, then they're ruined. So I've been taking good care of them, but the triple white, super clean. Hopefully I can keep them around for a while and not get them too dirty. Next up are these Chalk Ultra Boost. I just remember that name. They were called Chalk and I was like, oh shit, Chalk Zone. I think right now these are my favorite shoe that I've been wearing like every single day. I went to Iceland in these and I got them super, super muddy at the waterfall, which I don't know why I wore these there, but I got them super muddy and then I ran around and grabbed and kind of cleaned them off again. So 
once again I didn't wash them but they have that dusty natural organic color that I like and I think they look cool with the like the jeans I have on now it's just like a cool kind of match and we got the damn Daniels one to rock one to stock the two plain white vans you just come and come on these are iconic I think they look cool when you beat them up a little bit and they have that dirty kind of used feel but then you also got to bust out the icy pair when you have to because I think they look cool icy and cool little beat up and used so two pairs at all times next up we have the Air Max 97 premium paint splatter or something because of they got a little paint splatter vibe going around it you can get these like they're not super exclusive but I saw these in a few stores and I was like I have to get them because I just thought the colors were so wavy how it's so milky nice white up here and clean got the reflective maroon I'm a I'm a serious sneaker reviewer now y'all watch out I'm coming for you guys love the serve the next sneaker channel and it's got the little paint splatter on the tongue oh and the little carbon fiber type feeling thing. Wish you guys could feel that. You guys need to get a pair of these. Next 97s, these are the metallic gold colorway. I'm sorry, these are just so cool. I like the silver ones. I think I'm still gonna get the silver ones, but I had to get these when I saw them. Thank you, Suplex Philadelphia. You guys are the best. They hooked me up with these ones. In person, they just pop. The 97s are like my favorite shoe right now because I was born in 97, so I kind of gotta like the 97s. Fellas, for this next shoe, you might wanna leave. This is isn't really intended for you but ladies who are here get ready fellas if you have your girlfriend in the room watching this with you right now you might want to kick her out you might need to ask her to leave because these right now are drip city we got the Gucci sparkly I don't even know what to call them they got a name but I don't care they look cool now the light isn't doing these justice right now which is upsetting in person these are freaking stunning they are mesmerizing with the sparkles chicks dig sparkles right ain't that a thing so Gucci thank you for hooking me up with these Super nice and you can't wear them all the time because I've already busted them out like they already creased out I wear my shoes sue me if I'm gonna spend money on my shoes. I'm gonna wear them next shoe again ladies Please please just try to contain yourself. All right Boom, we got the infamous Crocs. Shout out to Noah for putting me onto these. I would have never rocked these uh, had it not been for him, but I think that they're super cool. And once again, chick magnet, instantly. Girls look at your shoes and they see you got the Crocs on. And what shoe do you know it has accessories with it? The gibbets that you can get and buy at the Croc store or online. These joints are hot, okay? Your gibbets that are on your Crocs tell a lot about you. Crocs, can y'all sponsor us? I'm trying to get some fuzzy Crocs for the freaking winter. Anyway, got the Spider-Man. He was like my favorite superhero growing up. Now I don't even care about superheroes. JB is a superhero to me now, so. Big shout out to Spider-Man and Dory. You know, you gotta be fun loving like her. Ain't this Cinderella? This is Beauty and the Beast, right? Think so, right? The one that married that wolf. What the f is her name then? <laughs> Why'd you get it? She looked bad. <laughs> yeah, so we got the two Disney princesses. I, I guess that's Cinderella. It has to be, right? Mm -hmm. With the yellow hair? All right, you know what? They were just bad, so I had to cop them. And that's Superman. Classic, right? Yeah, these are super cool. Next up, we have some slides. These aren't even real shoes, but I thought I'd put these on there because they're relatively expensive. Just the um, Mason Margiela slides. It's hard to find slides that fit me because my feet are really skinny and narrow and not tall, but these ones fit really nice. They don't have the big Givenchy or Mason Margiela across it. They just have a little cool embroidery. I'm sure you guys can't even see that. Like you wouldn't even know these are designer. Cool for walking around the building. Like you're trying to flex, but not too hard. These are some of my favorite favorite vans ever in the history of vans. They are the La Hula Girl print. Found these at a thrift store in South Carolina. I saw these, I was like, yo, these hoes are clean. Well, they actually aren't because they're dirty as hell, but it's simple, but it's sophisticated at the same time. Super cool shoe, they fit great. Vans, man. Vans, can y'all sponsor us too? That'd be great, dude. So just some more vans that I have. The Checkered, big shout out to our friend Robert, Rob. He put me on to Checkered vans about a year and some ago and I've been rocking them ever since if you have checkered vans you are automatically cool I do not care what you look like where you're from if you rock checkered vans you're chill I got these also these mustard yellow checkered vans and I wore my handful of times but they didn't fit me that well so I'm gonna give these away on my Instagram if you guys want them also I'm giving away these ones I've been wearing these for a while and they just don't get dirty for some reason they stay perfectly clean but yeah I'm giving away these two on my Instagram so if you guys want vans, their size 11 and 10 and a half. Yeah, so 10 and a half and size 11. If you guys want these, just go to my Instagram and just DM me vans.
and I'm gonna be picking two people just to give these ship these two. So thank you guys. And I'm not even gonna end on a bang. I'm gonna end on the old faithfuls that I wear to the gym every day. Oh, these kind of remind me of the old lady on SpongeBob. Like the what are they selling? Chocolate. Uh, I remember when they first invented chocolate. Anyway, I got these at Flight Club like two years ago. Originally they were icy white and they had this kind of manila tan khaki inlay, which was super cool. And I beat them up and I wore them all the time and now they're my gym shoe and they're great they have still held up they're really breaking oh my god i didn't know the damage was that bad these are the first ultra boost pair that i ever had and they should be appreciated but yeah that's it those are all my shoes i have a few more pairs that i'm going to buy soon i'm not really a sneaker head I, when i see a shoe that i think that i think is cool i'll get it if i think they're gonna look chill with my outfit then i'll get them so yeah guys that's gonna wrap it up for the little rhino sneaker collection i just went ahead and picked out my favorite pairs so yeah, thanks for watching the video. Like I said, feel free to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more types of videos like this, that would be cool. So that's going to be it. We will see you guys on the next upload. Hope you guys have a great day. And don't forget, be phenomenal or be forgotten. Peace out. Ah.